So the first question I have is why are you running for the position for uh, Congress? I did not make this uh, decision lightly when I uh, talked to family members and uh, friends. Uh, I thought about the, the kinds of things that I... care about, which is what changes in the state of Illinois and at the national level. Um, I think the congressional seat is a seat that I'm best suited for. Um, and I made this decision because the issues that I care about are issues that I can work on uh, in Washington for the benefit of my uh, constituents who reside in the first congressional district. Okay. And then what would you say makes you uh, uniquely qualified for this position? I think a person who goes to Washington has to be someone who can be a consensus builder, who has uh, demonstrated the ability to work with many types of different people. You know, right now I serve um, in a council of, you know, 50 members, um, all with different points of view and different interests representing different communities. And the role that I play, for example, as the chair of the budget committee is to bring a consensus among the, 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 my colleagues so that we can pass a budget that benefits everybody in the city of Chicago. I think um, you take that experience to, to Washington, the ability to work with over 400 different uh, Congress people representing rural, urban, suburban areas, um, to, you know, to craft a budget, for example, that will service um, all of those folks. I think in addition, I have a wealth of experience um, creating, helping to create small businesses, um, build uh, affordable housing, market rate housing, public housing. You know, I've done a lot of work in the area of education, uh, health care, um, and those are issues that uh, affect the first district communities, uh, black and brown communities all over the state um, and in the city of Chicago. And so I have uh, experience building upon that and hope to do some of that in Washington by looking within those agencies um, and finding the resources and the financial assistance that I can bring back to the community to better the uh, you know, better the district and the lives of people. What would you say some of the key challenges that we face in Illinois or the country that you hope to tackle if you were elected? Yeah, a couple of things. One, I talked about even during the Secretary of State um, effort, um, which I would have a greater opportunity to work on at the federal level. And that is the importance of a safeguarding uh, our right to vote, ballot access. You know, our right to vote is being threatened all over the country. And I want to be a strong voice for, for marginalized communities, uh, communities of color, African American communities who um, can't afford that. We have to safeguard that very, very important and valuable right that we have in this country to vote for the people that we want to, to represent us. Um, so that's one thing I want to, you know, focus on. I think gun violence, uh, the fact that, you know, we're, we have uh, lots of uh, people running around with illegal guns. We have to figure out a way to uh, address that at the federal level uh, because what you do in a state um, doesn't always work when a state next to you is doing something different. So we need to have a uniform policy Across the across the country, that uh, removes some of the illegal guns off the streets. Okay, and then if you were elected, what is what are maybe one or two things that you wanna will want to implement immediately? Well, immediately, I want um, people in that I represent to understand the role of the congressman office and how our office could uh, best be utilized by people. You know, as an alderman, we get people coming in all the time thinking that um, we can handle something that's really uh, the role of 
you know, the congressional office. So that's one thing I want to do, make sure people really understand, understands the office, sees the staff that would be working on the office um, would be one thing. I think the second thing um, I want to do is find out uh, the various programs and um, funding opportunities and uh, resources that are available in every department uh, that that we could make greater use of um, within the district that's going to help, you know, a woman, for example, open up a small business or to um, ensure that we have the funding necessary to have the transportation routes we need within our community. For example, um, the extension of the 95th Street uh, Red Line Station, right? Making sure all that funding is available. Um, uh, helping our universities and uh, colleges uh, that could use federal support. So there's uh, many things that a, a congressman can do, and I'm looking forward to learning more about the issues for my constituents and going there, rolling up my sleeves, and doing the work. All right. And then you'll be following in the legacy of Congressman Rush. So if you uh, were elected, what would you like your legacy to be? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, when I think of uh, legacy for me is about leaving uh, visible signs of improvement in the areas that I represent, right? So um, I want to see more jobs created, more businesses uh, uh, built. If we can remove some guns off the street, I want to see that happen. Uh, I want to make sure that our congressman's office is uh, effective, and and uh, that would be the biggest legacy for someone to say that Congressman Dowell uh, was effective in her job as congressman, and it's reflected in the community. All right. And then the final question I had is, did you have a vote or anything that you would like to leave potential voters, constituents? I don't understand your question. So is there a, uh, anything that you want to leave off with, like a quote or anything that you want to uh -huh. say to uh, potential voters or other constituents? Yeah, I want um, voters to know that... Uh, Pat Dowell is a genuine, effective public servant who is not afraid to do the work that it takes to bring back resources for the district. That I am a person of integrity, um, a consensus builder. Uh, I think I'll leave it at that. Okay. Well, that was the last question I had for you. Uh, thank you for your time.